everybody, this is Christine at Stay In Touch. In today's video, I'll be discussing how to manually run the end of day sequence in Rover PMS. Please note, while Rover is fully capable of running end of day manually, we actually recommend our properties that you set the end of day sequence to run automatically to save yourself some time. Also, we'd like to point out that end of day is often referred to as the night audit and in some cases the day audit, which simply means that there's no standard time that end of day needs to run. The end of day sequence should run when it makes the most sense for your property, whether that's at 2 a.m. or 8 a.m. Day or night, end of day can run successfully whenever your hotel would like it to be set. And lastly, your team members can continue to use Rover while end of day runs regardless of when the end of day sequence is triggered. End of day does not interfere with your user's ability to use Rover whether it's to review reports, complete check-ins, or make keys for your guests. Okay, now let's get started running end of day manually. Running the end of day sequence manually is a very simple and straightforward process in Rover PMS. Begin by clicking the sidebar menu, then click Front Desk, and lastly, select End of Day. Just as it would on any other page, today's date appears in the header of the End of Day page. Also from the End of Day page, you will notice there is a Calendar button, a Run button, and a numbered list of each End of Day process that we will refer to as the End of Day log. To run the end of day sequence, begin by clicking the Run EOD button. The text on this page informs the user that proceeding with this action will close the business day for the current day and change the business date to the following day. Begin by clicking the Start End of Day button. Next, enter your Rover login password and click Verify. This step ensures that only users with the correct permission and password are able to run end of day. Then select start end of day process. A final confirmation message will then appear. When you are ready, click this button to proceed. You will know when the end of day sequence is running because a blinking message will appear in the header of the page that reads end of day routine in progress. This process takes about 5 to 10 minutes to complete. While end of day is running, feel free to navigate to other pages in Rover. The end of day routine in progress will continue blinking in the header of the page until complete. When end of day is complete, the new and current business date will appear in the header of the page and you can return to the end of day page to review the end of day log. Processes that successfully ran will be noted with a small green check mark to the right of the page. If a specific end of day process does not apply to your property, the action will be disabled and display in gray. While on this page, you can also review end of day logs for dates in the past by selecting a previous date on the calendar. Rover will then retrieve the end of day log for that particular day. However, it is helpful to point out that if your property has been configured to run the end of day sequence automatically, then the Run EOD button will be replaced with a message informing the user when Rover will run end of day next, based on your property's particular end of day setting configuration. And that's it! Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions, you can contact a member of our support team, or feel free to learn more by checking out the articles in our knowledge base.